What's up everybody and welcome back to the Your Boy Willie YouTube channel. This video is going to be explaining how to set up Discord Canary and how to get you into position to have your VODs ready for war, right? Because obviously whenever you get into war, not only are, do you need Discord Canary, which is going to be another audio source for you to use to where you can be in main comms while in your own group comms at the same time, but also you want to be able to set up your VOD. So obviously with a war, a VOD is essentially a video of the war. So, you know, at the end of the war, you can get with your VOD reviewers, your leadership, and they can kind of go over exactly what you did wrong, what you did right and how to improve. So further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Discord Canary is going to be up first. All right, Discord Canary. Now, essentially, it's as easy as it sounds. All you got to do is type in Discord Canary here on Google. You pull it up, and you're going to be given two options. Do you download it for Windows, or do you open up in browser? You can do either or. If you open it up in the browser, uh, it's going to just be like a browser source, right? Very easy. Now, download for Windows. It's essentially going to be a second Discord. It, it is operated exactly like Discord, literally exactly. So with that being said, what is the purpose once again? Well, the main purpose of this is so you can be in your micro comms and communicating with your group while simultaneously being in the main comms and listening to the shock caller and kind of knowing what the overall objective of the war is and you can kind of hear both of them at the same time it's very easy when you download this it works just like any other application you download it you open it and it's just another discord essentially now you might be wondering well how does that work at the end of the day right how, how does that work how is this going to make it where i'm in two places at once well i'll show you i use the browser source it's easy for me uh like that now uh as you can see it's just another little discord right here you're gonna have servers on the sides we are gonna be having a microcom server like most companies do there's micro servers for them to use whenever they're in war and stuff so and that's it i mean it's what it looks like it's very simple very easy to use and yeah so essentially you would park yourself in here uh, in your microcoms and then you would go to your main discord and park yourself in the main comms and you would more than likely def or not def and mute yourself on the main comms and then you'd be primarily talking in the group comms so that explains discord canary all right so now that discord canary is out of the way let's go ahead and talk about how to secure your vod we're going to be doing this in three different ways i'm going to show you guys how to record your vod on streamlabs obs and nvidia shadow play so i'm going to give you guys three different options on how to do your vod you might be wondering why is a vod so important well to be honest look whenever you get a vod it's important because you can have leadership and people who know a little bit more about the roles kind of help you right it's a way to go back look at your gameplay see what you did wrong see what you did wrong right and where you can improve so let's go ahead and talk about it the first one we're going to do is Streamlabs. now this one's going to be very self-explanatory and easy it's the one i use a lot you can see a little inception here uh but yeah uh essentially right down here you're just going to download Streamlabs, and boom there's a record button right here at the bottom if you guys can see my mouse on the screen you just hit that record and it goes and then you just stop it when you're done um i know stream labs you know you think it has to be like streaming on twitch and this and that it can record stuff for you as well and it's relatively easy Easy. Now, OBS does the same thing. It's just a little bit different format than this, but very the same, very much the same thing. You hit record and you hit stop recording. That's about as far as it goes. Um, and if you are curious in the settings over here, there is options where you can follow your recording path. It's very self-explanatory. You just got to find the file destination. Easy peasy. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about NVIDIA Shadow Play. All right, guys, so now that we went ahead and went over how to do your VODs on Streamlabs and OBS, let's talk a little bit about NVIDIA Shadow Play, which is arguably the easiest. So uh, let's go. So first off, guys, you're going to go in and type in GeForce Experience. Now, when you type in GeForce Experience here, uh, it's going to be able to pull up all your goodies, right? This is going to be where you update your drivers. A lot of people have this already. But now what you're going to do from here on forward is you're going to go up here to the settings right up here in the settings, right next to your name. Uh, you're going to scroll down until you get to the in-game overlay. Now, you make sure it's checkmarked, and there is a shortcut. If you need to get to it accessibly, Alt-X is the shortcut here. Now, you're going to go ahead and hit settings. So just so you know, whenever you hit settings, whenever you click this recording section, it will show you exactly what the file location is for your recordings. Now there's multiple ways to go about this. Uh, that's just so you know. So remember, if you do a video, 
this click that it will show you where that video is being placed on your computer now hit done with this now this is going to be your main section what you're looking at here this is this is it this is the goods uh now there's multiple options on how you want to record you could do instant replay which takes uh takes a video capture within the last like i think up to zero to 20 minutes or you can just do record which you're probably just going to be recording this again you want the whole war so uh all you got to do is click this and hit start it's really that easy now you can hit settings i believe this is for the instant replay length uh so yeah so the instant replay if you want to do like the last 20 minutes 15 you could do that but honestly you're better off just hitting record starting and ending and then like i said once you're done recording uh you can always follow that same path like i said right here in the recording section that's going to show you where your file was put but it's that easy. It's really that easy. And I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you liked the video, like, sub, comment, say I'm awesome. No, seriously, uh, it's much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out. And I will see you guys on the battlefield.